So the recuperator, uh, this model, has two independent blower motors. We lay blower one and blower two. Uh, blower one controls air coming into the house and blower two controls air leaving the house. Um, basically you'd say uh, blower one is in the middle where it's sucking fresh air in from outside and then blowing it into the house. That's your fresh air stream. Blower two on the opposite side of the machine is sucking stale air out of the house and blowing it to the outside. So the, the unit from the factory has the capability of flow control, meaning delivering the same amount of air into and out of the house. Also, as a standard feature, you can offset those air flows more or less in a permanent fashion, say 20, 40, or 60 CFM positive, so that the machine would automatically just bring in 20, 40, or 60 CFM more air than what it takes out. That is the standard feature. Now, the optional pressure control feature enables the unit to automatically bring in more or less to balance the inside house pressure to the outside pressure. So when you wire and hook up the pressure transducer to the machine with the inside and outside pressure taps, you are going to actively measure the inside pressure, compare it to the outside pressure, and control the incoming versus the outgoing flow to either a balanced state, that is one setting, the, a, a neutral inside to outside pressure, which might dictate more air coming in than leaving, uh, that is one pressure control option, balanced, or we have two slightly positive pressure control points. I believe they're in the one to four Pascal range, but all that you're trying to do is either create a balanced inside to outside pressure or slightly positive, depending somewhat on your, cl on your climate and what result you're looking for. Now the fourth state that we do offer as far as the uh, pressure control set points is uh, turn this feature off, which means you can also say uh, turn the pressure control off and just give me my basic flow control again uh, without any pressure influence. Uh, you know, that, that would be if possibly maybe the transducer died or something's wrong with it or you know you just want to disable that and maybe do your testing. So that is the fourth uh, control point. So we're going to walk through uh, some of the wiring, uh, the location, and some of the finer details on how to install pressure guard. With the standard unit, um, well I said with the order of the optional pressure control feature, uh, you're going to get basically three additional components. Two of these, what they're called is a static pressure taps. Basically these are the points on the inside of the house and the outside of the house where, where you're going to be measuring the pressure from. And really these are only to block wind, different, you know, wind effects. So these are your two static pickup tubes or pressure taps and this is actually the transmitter that will read the two pickups and send the information electrically back to the recuperator. So this will get mounted somewhere near the unit, doesn't matter, I mean it can physically be directly on the unit or you know, on the wall directly next to the unit. This is all low voltage uh, and you'll need, uh, I usually recommend a four conductor wire. It calls, it, you could probably get by with three, but uh, just low voltage thermostat wire between the transducer and the ERV. Uh, we have a piece cut here, let me 
everything is going to work. It's going to go in right next to your wall control wiring and wire directly to this board. And it just gets tied to these three wires that are already pigged out from the transducer. Okay. These, now where do I locate these? The inside pressure tab, I would recommend locating it in one of your main open living spaces. Uh, maybe in the living room, in a hallway, just in a common area. You're, you're trying to measure the inside house pressure relative to the outside pressure. So I would not want it in the bathroom where I'm going to keep the door closed or in a bedroom where I'm going to possibly close the door because that might change the pressure of that room slightly uh, relative to the main, main part of the house. These basically you're just drilling this size hole. You're going to put this into the wall put the little cover on it, all you're going to see basically is this little cover sticking out and on the back side is a barbed fitting where you're going to attach the tubing. Now this tubing, I like this clear Tigon tubing, it's this quarter inch Tigon tubing, so you're going to run one tube from the transducer to your outside location and one tube from the transducer to the inside location. With the transducer wired, uh, we have the unit running now. The transducer is wired in for the manual. The low port, the the low port gets tied to the outside pressure tab. So the port marked L uh, and the uh, static pickup tube. This one's going to go outside static pickup tube attached to the high port, port mat marked H. This one's going to go to the inside of the house. The transducer itself is powered by 24 volt AC. It's getting that power from the ERV, from the transformer inside the ERV attached, wired here at the top. The output signal from the transducer is a 0 to 10 volt DC signal. So, and how it works is it is measuring a differential pressure inside to outside. If the two ports are here, so they're both measuring inside right now, your differential should be zero. And then as the, with these correctly installed, it's going to measure inside to outside and that's going to vary off of zero. But right here, the, the DC output signal is going to be exactly five volts. Five volts out from the transducer means that the inside and outside pressure are equal. So as you, so if you were to measure here, this is your input from the transducer we're reading very close, or right at, 5 volts DC because the two taps are right here in the same room. So as those measure a differential pressure, this is going to be all the way down to zero or up to 10, depending on if you have positive or negative pressure and change as it changes. The unit control will take that signal average it over a period of time and make an adjustment to the offset in the air flows to control to the set point which you have chosen, be it balanced inside to outside pressure or slightly positive. So as you measure this DC signal, if it's above five or below five, you know that it's reading a positive or a negative dif differential inside to outside 
and over the course of 10 minutes, it will make an airflow adjustment offset between the incoming and outgoing flows.